All right, y'all, we're back at it again. I'm in a different Dollar General and we're gonna see what we can make happen today. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So we are outside of Dollar General and yeah, we're gonna see if we can make it work today. I know I don't always do Dollar General videos, but you guys, if you watched mine last week that I did, it did not go so well and it's been a long time since I've shopped at Dollar General. So it's funny because I was talking to my husband about it last night and I was just like you know when something doesn't go right and it's almost like you fit, you take it almost as a challenge I gotta make it work <laughs> so he was like you're either glutton for punishment or you're just determined to make it work make it successful so we kind of had a little laugh about it last night and I was like okay I planned out a couple of deals I'm going back round two and we're gonna see if we can make it happen this time so let's head into dollar general and see what we can do if you're new to my channel welcome i'm so happy that you're here and if you enjoy today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as hit that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones let's go check out these deals <laughs> Y'all, I'm already taking this as a good sign because this floor is so much cleaner than the last store that I went to and I can actually walk through the aisle. Like this is impressive for Dollar General, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, so <laughs> let's go. So the first deal we're gonna pick up is on the sparkle paper towels. They're $7.50, but we have a $2 digital coupon and that is gonna leave us to pay $5.50, but we're gonna put this in a Saturday scenario as well, just in case you wanna go on Saturday and use five off 25. Next, I'm gonna pick up one of the Febreze sprays for $3.25 and we have a $2.30 digital. It makes this just 95 cents and you can pick up a different scent, but this is what I'm grabbing. The next thing I'm going to grab is the Febreze Untouchables, or is that what it is? Un oh, Touch, Unstoppable, <laughs> Unstoppable's Touch, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, $5, we have a $3 digital, makes it $2. Next, we're picking up the Bic Easy Rinse Razors. We're going to get one of the men's and one of the women's, okay? Check your Ibotta account for a $7 back offer on each one. That makes each of these completely free because we're getting $14 back from Ibotta. Now, this offer says it's going to end in about 24 hours on my account, so check your offers and check your list because I clipped this yesterday and it's on my list for Dollar General. So, Double check yours because this is such a good freebie. I wish it was last until Saturday for the 5 off 25, but here it is. All right, y'all. So this is $29.75 total in items, okay? We have the $2 off Sparkle. We have the $3 off of the Unstoppable's Touch. And we have a $2.30 off of the Febreze. So that's going to leave me to pay $22.45, but I'm getting $14 back on Ibotta for the Big Easy Rinse. And that's going to make all of these items just $8.45. Now, I'm going to show you another scenario for Saturday just in case these big ones expire. Of course, if you were doing this deal on Saturday with a $5 off 25, it would be so cheap. It'd be like $3.45, which would be insane. But like I said, I think those rebates are going to expire before Saturday. So I want to show you another deal you can pick up. So they have these $1 Oral-B toothbrushes, not these in particular. There's a different kind on the app that shows it qualifies for a three off two coupon. My store doesn't have that um, a particular one, but if you can find two $1 coupons and use the three off two, you should get a dollar overage if your store does overage. So if you need to save on you by Kotex, I got a couple of options for you. These right here, these security pads are $3.95. We have $2 back on Ibotta, which makes it $1.95. Now the Ibotta rebate is a limit of one. So if you don't want to grab that one, another option is the regular um, cleanware. This has 16. It's ultra thin for $4.75 with $2 back on Ibotta. It'd be $2.75. Next, we're going to grab some Angel Soft for $5.95, and we have a dollar digital coupon for this one, making it $4.95. So let's go ahead and look at another scenario. So this scenario could be for Saturday for the 5 off 25. 
All of these items total us $26.45 using the five off 25 plus $2 off of Sparkle, $1 off Angel Soft, $3 off of the Unstoppables Touch, and $2.30 off Febreze. We would pay $13.15 but get $2 back on Ibotta for you by Kotex, making your final cost $11.15 for all of these products, which is not bad with all the paper products you're getting in this scenario. So we're going to go ahead and look at one more deal before I head to check out. Next, I'm looking at a gain deal where I'm going to pick up this mega pack of the gain liquid for $15.95 and we have a $3 digital coupon for this one. The next item I'm going to pick up is the gain flings for $7.50 and we have a $2 digital coupon for this one. Next, I'm going to grab these Gain Fireworks. I'm grabbing the Freshwater Sparkle right here for $7.50, and we have a $3 digital coupon that works for this size. And, of course, we've got a Gain Scented Febreze with a $2.30 digital coupon. So all of these items right here total me $34.20, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick all of these up using the 5 off 30 Gain Digital Coupon. So as you guys know, it did not work out for me last week. So this week, I made sure that each of my items attached to that 5 off 30 coupon and do qualify. Plus, we're using our $3 digital off of the Big Gain, the $3 off the Fireworks, the $2.30 off of Breeze, and the $2 off the Gain Flings. We're going to get down to a total of $18.90 but there's a promotion going on when you spend over $15 on PNG products, you earn a $5 coupon off your next 501 or more purchase. So a really, really awesome deal. Get you down to about $13.90 for all of this if you add in that coupon that you're going to get to use on a next purchase. So I'll let you guys know how it goes today, but let's go ahead and head to check out. All right, guys, this is everything in my cart. I'm gonna do two transactions. I'm back in the car from Dollar General and oh my gosh, it went so good today. All of my digitals came off. Plus we did get our coupon at the bottom of the receipt. So it was a $5 off your next 501 or more purchase for spending over $15 on P&G products. So I got this on my gain transaction. How awesome is that? I even told the cashier, I said, honestly, I just wanna tell you, this is like the cleanest Dollar General I've been in. I could walk through all the aisles. The floor wasn't nasty. It was crazy, you guys. Anyways, um, so he was like, well, thank you. I try, I think he was the manager, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, and then he told me that there's another Dollar General opening soon right down the road from here. And I said, you know what? That's crazy because when we were driving by the other day, I told Chloe, I said, it looks like, I said, I wonder what they're building right there. It looks like it's going to be a Dollar General. There was no sign or anything, but you know, they just have that look to them. And he said, yeah, Dollar General's goal is to have a Dollar General every three miles every three miles. He even told me that they have like little supermarkets and they also have this one kind of store that's basically for college students or something. He said they have this one kind of store that has like an escalator in it. And I was like, what? Like, where are these? I have never seen these. And apparently they have Dollar Generals in every state. I think he said, but one, they even opened some in Mexico recently. So I was like, this is crazy y'all. I did not know these things. <laughs> so, uh, you learn something new every day. But these transactions went so good. I can't wait to go home and go over the receipt with you guys and talk final cost of all of our items. All right, guys. So I am back home and this is my Dollar General haul for this week. So we're going to go ahead. We are going to go over the receipts and we're going to talk final cost. We did our transaction right here. This one was sort of an example of something that you could do with the 5 off 25 coupon on Saturday. Now keep in mind those big razor rebates, they may go fast. So if you have those on your account, grab them while you can. Um, those again did not show up under my regular offers on the um, Dollar General section of Ibotta, 
but on my list is where they showed up, which I know I just clipped them yesterday. And the reason I know that is because I normally never clip offers for Dollar General on Ibotta, just because I don't shop there a lot. So, um, yeah, I clipped those yesterday. They say they've got like 24 hours or whatever it is left on them. So do that fast just in case those disappear. But here is that transaction. And then over here, we've got our gain transaction. So we're going to go ahead and go over this one. My total for this one was also $29.75 before any coupons. And like I said, you know, you only have to get your total to $25 on Saturdays. But the reason mine was higher is because of the products that I wanted to get. So um, you can see right here on my receipt, after all of our coupons came off, you can see each coupon coming off under each item. We were at $22.45 plus tax on this, okay? So that was a savings of $7.30. But I submitted my receipt to Ibotta where I got back $7 for each one of these big razors. So that was $14 back on Ibotta, making my final cost for that transaction $8.45 which I was pretty happy with because the sparkle paper towels are normally $7.50. So we got all of this for $8.45 plus tax. Now for the game deal right here, this one I tried again this week because like I said, you guys, last week it did not work out for me. Now I did do these purchases on two separate accounts. So that way I could use the Febreze Digital twice. So I use my phone number for one, my husband's phone number for the other. <laughs> um, so on this one right here, we were using the five off of 30 gain coupon. We're also using our other digital manufacturer coupons. So we were at a total of around $34.20 before any coupons. You can see right here on my receipt, um, we had the five off 30 came off, so it took a little off of each item. The $3 off on that big gain one, and then we had $2 off on the gain fireworks, I think it was, no, let's see, no, the $3 I think was for the gain fireworks, and then $2 off on the flings. Then we had $2.30 off of the Febreze. So my subtotal was $18.90. That's a savings of $15.30 right there. But you guys, we also got this $5 coupon. So it says, thank you for your purchase of $15 or more on P&G products. Your five off coupon is below. So that means we get $5 off our next purchase of $5.01 or more. I'm super, super excited about that. That coupon's good through May 20th, so you guys are probably gonna see me do another Dollar General video <laughs> soon to use my coupon. Now, if you wanna subtract that coupon, as in you got $5 back you can use on a separate purchase, that means our final cost was around $13.90 for this one. So overall, everything that you see right here would have cost me $63.95 without any coupons, without any rebates, but, we ended up with a final cost of $22.35 for this, which is a savings of $41.60. And I'm really, really happy with this because it turned out so much better than last week. So I hope that this gives you some ideas to go towards your spend 25, get five off for Saturday. Um, yeah, even if you want to mix and match your deals, maybe you want to do that other deal that I showed you guys in the store, adding the Angel Soft, the Uva Kotex. There's definitely so many different deals that you can do with the coupons that we have on the app. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Did Dollar General go okay for you last week or this week? Like I said, you guys, I'm one of those people, like, I try to not let things discourage me as for, you know, if I go to a store and it doesn't work out, I at least try it again. So, I definitely, I'm happy that it worked out today. So, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.